Okay, going over Erica's this morning. Gonna wait for an inspector to come. What the heck is going on up here? Oh Lord, this is too early for police. What the heck? Uh oh, they got some guy. Come on, bus. Hmm. Poor thing. That's not a good morning for him, is it? Let's go by slow. Hmm. Well, anyway. I'm going to tell you all about our trick-or-treating. Well, not trick-or-treating. Haunted teepee at the campground. Now, you've probably already seen, if you follow my blog, you've seen pictures. And uh, I'll put some in after this. I was the ghost, and it was very fun. Um, my family and friends do the haunted teepee every year. I've been doing it for I don't know how many years, a long time. My sister Terry started it. Well, started the family. Turn on it. Uh, like I said, it was fun. And it looked like everybody enjoyed it. The only problem is we didn't have uh, our radio, our stereo, so we could play the spooky sounds. But I guess it was okay. And uh, I only had to break character like about three or four times to, you know. <laughs> You know, I don't like scaring little children. So, you know, all right, let me set it up. The, the haunted teepee is a big circle. And the maintenance people, they come in and they put up black plastic and section it off into, well, this year we had nine rooms. Um, all right, I'm going to slow down here. So I was in the last room, and my nephew, Frankie, little Frankie, who's not little, he's like 18, I think. Well, he was in the room with me, and he was uh, the chainsaw guy. So when people came into our room, which was the last room, they're already scared. <laughs> and I was standing like right next to the door, so everybody's busy looking at me. And when little Frankie started up that chainsaw and came after him, you know, it scared the crap out of them and, and they just went in all directions. <laughs> so one time I, I the, uh, this lady comes in and she didn't, she didn't go for the door, the other door to get out. She just went straight and was like smacking on the, the plastic wall saying, how do I get out of here? So I had to, you know, I had to stop my screaming and tell her, I said, go that way, go that way. And uh, that was funny. But anyway, so this other one, like I said, I don't like to scare children. So when a group came through with screaming children, because I could hear them, they're not screaming like they're being, how do I explain it? I don't know. It's like they're scared to begin with. They're honestly scared and they're crying. I don't scare them. I just stand there. And the adults probably just look at me thinking, what the heck are you doing? But I'm not going to scare a little child. And I'll tell you why. This group comes through and everybody's screaming and hollering, screaming and hollering. And uh, so they get through the door and then I turn around and here comes this other little girl with her mom, I think it was. And the poor little thing is, is saying, I don't want to die today. I don't want to die today. And I'm, oh my gosh. I said, honey, nobody's going to hurt you. And her mom, her mom says, see, I told you. Now, you know, scaring is one thing, but making the poor thing petrified that she's going to die, that's ridiculous. She should have never came through there. She was only like about six or seven, maybe. <sighs> so anyway. And another time I had, I broke 
rope character or whatever you want to call it. Um, a group comes through, scare them. Frankie runs them out the room with the chainsaw, which, by the way, of course, has no blade on it. Uh, then I turn around and go back, to, you know, to go back to my air, my little standing area, and here comes this little old lady with a cane and her little old husband behind her. <laughs> so she didn't know how to get out, so I had to help her out. That was funny. You know, the whole thing was funny. Fun. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess that was it. We had a really nice time. And I'm, we're already thinking of ideas for next year. Um, I was thinking about making dummies. You know, getting some muslin fabric. And, um laying it out and probably because all the all of our kids are bigger except for huh maybe i'll get well i don't know i'm thinking who who can i get to lay out on the muslin to trace so i can make dummies probably james or maybe dylan everybody else is like grown you know taller than me or maybe i could do it I don't know. So anyway, like I said, we're all thinking of ideas for next next summer or next winter. Well, I guess it's not winter really. The Halloween haunted TP. Okay, here we go. Turn in Erica's. There we go. See, that didn't take long at all, did it? No, nope. she only lives about four miles away. And I'm going to have to turn you off now because I have to back up and do some maneuvering and everything. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Hi, I'm back, sitting on Erica's couch, crocheting. Um, I'm making these little motifs to make another baby blanket. And um, I'll show you, I have, I have these, and I have these, so far. Now, all it is, is, um, take one off. I love these big giant safety pins. Keeps everything together. But uh, they're very simple. It's uh, just two rounds of double crochet and then a round of the popcorn stitch. And I will put them together with soft white, um, you know, Red Heart Super Saver soft white yarn. I'll put them together and make a little baby blanket with it. They're very quick and easy to do, and it's a good project because I like to use up the variegated yarns, variegated and um, like this is white with pink spots and you know uh, stripes, stuff like that. I like to use up those yarns and um, very quick and easy to do motif. What else? Um, I guess that's it. Nothing much really to talk about. I am almost finished with the rippling shells blanket that I started a little bit ago. And the pattern for that is on my blog. And I will show that because I'm on the last round. It's a round of single crochet. I'm on the last round of that, so I'll show that when it's done. Hey again. I got a um, Guardian Grandma's package today in the mail. And it's from Debbie 
Zoller. And it is three little baby hats. <laughs> They're really cute. There's three of them. And it looks, and they, what is that? Pink, purple, aqua, lavender. Very pretty. Thank you, Debbie. They're very cute. And there's three of them. I think I said three. Also, I wanted to show you, I started a, another project. And um, I know I said I wouldn't work with Boucle yarn anymore. But uh, the Lion Brand Homespun, that's not too bad. There's no um, loops, you know, like that stick out and catch on and everything. So I started this one. It's a, it's the same uh, poncho pattern that I used for the blue one I made. And of course it's the Lion Brand Homespun. <sighs> you know, I don't wear glasses all the time. But I think I'm getting to that point. It's called Coral Reef. And the colors are really pretty. You know, same, it, it's, hmm, I don't know, orangey, fuchsia, aqua, kind of pretty. So I'm hoping, and this is what I've done so far, um, I'm hoping I'll like it once it's done. You know, because you never know once, you know, the colors and everything. But also... I wanted to share a, a tip. Uh, I, I did it with the blue poncho also that I showed you last time. Well, I don't know if I showed you, but let, let me see. I'll look over there. See that one. That one, that yarn, that's a boucle yarn. But um, it had like loops and everything sticking out. And it was really hard to crochet with. But that was the first one. This one, my second one. So what I did, because when I started the blue one, I would chain. I started out the chain, and then I was like, what? You know, what am I supposed to do with that? I can't see the chains or anything like that. So I found a blue four-ply acrylic that matched the color very closely. And used that to do the chain. And then I ended it, and then I started with the boucle. And I did it the same with this one. I don't know if you can see, but regular four-ply worsted weight yarn, I, I did the chain with. And uh, then I ended that off, and I started the homespun. And it was so much easier, you know, to see the chains. And so that's a little hint, a little tip or whatever. But yeah, like I said, I hope I'll like this. Got a long way to go, as you can see. And also, oh, that's stuck on my yarn winder. What else? Nothing much else to, to show you right now. Well, except for one thing, let me see. See this right here? My daughter gave me that. She brought it over one day and... Uh, she said, can you find something to do with this? And I said, yes. <laughs> so, I'm putting, uh, you know, oops, I keep moving it. Keep putting, you know, I put the glue in it. And up here, it's got, it's got these that I bought for when I'm working on the uh, knitting machines. Uh, just, just glues. Yeah. So, yeah, and this came from Pampered Chef. Um, I guess it's a spice rack of some sort. I don't know, because it's got, you know, round sections. So, yeah, that came in pretty handy. Here's my little yarn ball coffee mug, which, of course, is too small for coffee for me, so I use it for clips and stuff. Okay. But, yeah. 
I thought that was cute. And there's all the junk stuff. <laughs> and this, I don't know if I told y'all about this before, but I had made um, lip balm. And uh, these little containers came from the dollar store, Dollar Tree. There's a pack of eight, I think. And I wrapped a thing of washi tape around it. If I put that, usually leave it in here on my desk in case I need to use it while I'm in here. I'll put it up there. And that's it. Put you back over here. Okay. Just wanted to show you my poncho on me. Um, I didn't make it long because I don't like things on my arms. I'm not too sure about it. The yarn is a little stiff, maybe. Not too stiff, but just a little. You see how it poked, the arm pokes out? Well, I want to uh, wash it and dry it and see what happens. But yeah, this is it. It's keeping me warm. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I want to show you something else. Hold on. The, um, what do you call that? Mute this thing. Where's the mute button? I don't know. There it is. I'm at Erica's house, so I'm not sure how to work her TV that well. But anyway, I started a new project. It's right here. And, um, I'll take this out. And I will show you what it's going to be. It's going to be some kind of a slipper. Now, I'm not too much on slippers because <laughs> they're slippery, slippery. So I have to maybe think about something to put on the bottom. Um, maybe take the glue gun and go back and forth with glue, you know, like that. So it won't be slippy. But anyway. There's that. I'll show you when they're done. And of course I have my other project I brought with me, but I haven't worked on them. But I have them, in case I do. Okay, see ya.